Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with this awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5 which is saying it's, it's the newest server I have it runs the E5 2600 series the version 3 and 4 which were the, the latest of those after that Intel changed to the scalable series which um, well it has been out for a couple of years uh, almost a couple of years by now but today I want to change the drive in this right now this server is running Proxmox and it's it's booting of two then it has three hard drives here in ZFS and that's all good and uh, it's supposed to be running that and it's supposed to be going back to running that but for purposes of updating this RAID controller which is a Hewlett Packard P441 I'm able to put this RAID controller in that server and the server will recognize it and boot but I want to firmware update this and especially down here I have a DAS that I want a firmware update all of this is going to be in another video but to do that I need to change the operating system to a Windows based operating system because the the firmware update that I've gotten for this box which you actually have to um, have a subscription or service or something to get to download well it's for Windows so I need to um, put Windows on my good server here um, I am thinking server 2016 and up here this server is off so I can without any problem take this drive out Jing! I have a drive that has already installed server 2016 oh that's a big one it's a one terabyte drive here do I have another one Oh. oh, I have one here and have one here. I believe it's this one. This is a 512 gigabyte. So. Yeah, that one. What have I been doing with that? Hmm. Yeah, this is the one that we are putting in. Um, this is in a tray from a Lenovo slash IBM X3650 Model 2 or Model 3 or Model 4. Um, the tray for the Model 5 is a little bit different so I need to temporarily put this in another tray and then we need to take out the drives in the Model 5 and put in the drives with the Windows operating uh, the, the drive it's just one and then we need to tell the server to use that drive and import that drive and I've never done that before so you're coming along more or less we're taking out all the drives putting in a new one and crossing our fingers that we're not going to delete the operating system so that we have to go and install it again which is a drag so here is the new tray for the model 5 uh, which i bought i think it came from china uh, i think i bought it in the uk but it came from china and um, you see the difference it's it's not much but um it's much in the length so um these longer ones are not gonna fit in the new uh, model 5 yeah new trace so we're gonna and just to save time I'm just gonna reuse the screws over here so that I don't have to change bit and stuff because I see that the screws that came with this one was Tox and these are regular Phillips thingies but I am guessing that the screws are they'll be all good there ready to go so right now the server is running and uh, that's probably not a good idea so I'll go and shut it down and we will remove all the drives and um, try and pop in the new one okay so I've told the server to shut down and it's done that now um, I must admit Proxmox is really quick at that 
it um, it gets the job done when it's told to shut down it um, shuts down so yeah we're gonna take those out let's um uh, just put these in these are the two 300 gigabyte SAS drives there are 10,000 RPMs um, Lenovo branded X-series hard drives I don't know if I need to put them in in the same order but then we have these three drives that we shock out of USB let's, let's put those in the same order as well Seagate 4 terabytes I haven't put anything on them yet they have just been sitting there uh, waiting for uh, for us to, to go work on them and so we put this one in instead it's gonna be mad at me when I uh, when I power this up again I'm sure where did my drives go okay I have connected screen and run it let's power it up again and I expect we have to go into the BIOS and see if we can fix it from in there uh, so probably F1 it's complaining over here. It has recognized that it's missing its drives. So have to go in somewhere until it's that it's okay. There, F1. F1. Thank you. So where do we tell it that? Where do we go? Storage? No have the mega raid m5210 main menu yeah that sounds about right configuration manager controller manager virtual drive manager let's see what it sees unable to no current available okay configuration manager okay it um we can clean configuration or we can manage foreign configuration that sounds about right because we put in a foreign configuration so if we have to tell it to use that it might be here we can preview or we can clean we will definitely preview ah unable to display previous con summary no configuration presets so why do you say that it's there if you can't use it okay so out here we can actually see drive management and it sees the drive it tells us that it's foreign and it's unconfigured good eh can we do anything else oh we can see some more info about it uh, advanced okay just even more info it does tell us that it's a 512 byte logical sector formatted so yeah it's a six gigabit per second drive okay hmm okay another option now that it's it's not behaving out there is to use the management module through the web interface of the server i have access the management module on the uh, system x3650 model 5 down here we have local storage there and yes it sees our rate controller it sees our it sees the rate controller here it sees the drive that are in it over here under storage rate configuration we can choose to pick the rate controller and over here on the more action there is detect foreign configuration if we do that it actually comes up and says one foreign drive were detected you must import or clean drives before they can be used so we want to import rate configuration from all yes we want to do that see if that will work and it does not so that is also not an option ah that's a bugger okay so that's kind of a drag i uh, took this 860 pro one terabyte out of its case and put it in the case for the m5 i want to see if this is any better i believe there is proxmox installed on this so um yeah if this works and we are just testing if this works um i would have to reinstall this anyway but i would like to see if it's just well not compatible from the old rate controller it could make sense that 
when you have to change the case you also have to change the, the drive something inside I have no idea what's going on here so let's um let's pop this one now nah, we'll just put it right next to it it's We can see how um, hot plugs. So how do we see it over here? Let's go down under drive management. And we have two drives. We have one 475 gigabytes and one 952 gigabytes. Foreign, unconfigured, good. I think this is exactly the same, but yeah. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Yeah, nothing. Okay, irritating, but we did get smarter. Okay, uh, this is far out, but maybe the server is looking for the old drive that was in there. So I'm gonna try and pop these out just far enough so that they're not detected. And we're gonna try and go in and see if we can clean the, the old clean configuration. So right now there is nothing in it, so we're gonna try and do that, and maybe then it will see it. Operation but successful, okay, ah, okay, so now it knows nothing. Now we can go down to drive management, it should see nothing, nothing, okay, so let's try and pop those in again. Maybe just try with the with that one. Management. Manage foreign configuration. Preview. No. Ah. Okay, that didn't really get me very far. So um, I think I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna have to reinstall Server 2016 to get this up and running. But I'm really curious if I will be able to put in. Uh, the original drives and we might as well just test that so first the two SAS drives here there. then the three four terabyte SATA drives there so let's go see if we see everything here we'll go out and we'll say it's it's missing one Let's, let's do that again. Okay, how did that end up up there? Port 4, port 0, port 0, port 0. Uh, that is kind of weird. Okay, but let's see if we can import. The configuration. Manage. View. Okay, it, it sees that. So we can go down there and we can import foreign configuration. This was what we were hoping for for the other ones. Um, importing foreign configuration will cost the physical drives from which with your existing configuration. Are you sure? But yeah, we're gonna have to try this. Configuration Manager, View, okay, so we have the first two drives are in a RAID 1, the last three drives here are RAID 0, um, yeah, that looks promising, I'll try and boot this and we'll see if Proxmox boots and everything is good again, okay, without further problem it booted Proxmox, so let's go check at the computer, it's still good, here we are, Proxmox, up and running and um, started to do something over here when uh, it was turned back on again let's check the storage big store there zfs uh, that's up and running um, haven't used any of it it um, sits at uh, seven terabytes but uh, the drives were definitely imported again so that's cool also the two other drives has been imported those are from the two SAS drives and my virtual machine here that is running and has all the 
well the big dash at the bottom connected to it that is here uh, right there and it I have also checked it's it still sees drives 33 two terabyte drives it sees and funny enough uh, from the last video it has recognized number 13 here so now it, it counts all the way up to number 17 and number 17 is missing and then number 20 is missing from the first here and the second one it counts all the way up to number 15 and then I'm missing uh, 16, 17, the rest of those. Still working on that. Okay, so this video was supposed to be a walk in the park video, just importing a drive into this server, which turned out to be way more interesting. Normally everybody can import a foreign configuration. In this case, it doesn't work. So most likely it's not compatible um, from older servers to the newer servers. So. Yeah, we have to investigate that a little bit. If somebody way smarter than me knows that I've screwed up, please leave it in the comments so that everybody can see that. Usually someone way smarter than me will tell me what I did wrong in the comments. So if you check that out, you become way smarter as well. We did learn something in this video. We learned that this is an issue um, from the Lenovo slash IBM X3650 model two, three and four. There can be issues moving drives over and importing them apparently so um, please uh, give this video a like it needs it and uh, hit the bell thingy if you want to make sure to get my videos as soon as they come up and you're also that way telling YouTube that you want to see my videos even more than if you subscribe well I'm only making videos here I'm not running YouTube um, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And now I have to go install some server 2016. Have a nice day. Bye bye.